Now this video is just kind of a heads up and I'm going to talk about a discrepancy that you may notice as you move through the course here. And what I really want to talk about is about the semicolon. Now if you look at example code in SQL Books Online, you're going to notice that they put semicolons at the end of statements. But when you look at a lot of programmers transact SQL code, you see very few semicolons. Now let me jump out to the Management Studio. Now notice right here there's a semicolon at the end of the statement. Most of the time you will see me code SQL just like this with no semicolon. So what's going on there? Do we need this thing or not? Well, what's really happening is the semicolon in many, many languages is what's called a statement terminator. It helps the compiler know that this is the end of a statement. And this was actually part of the ANSI SQL 92 standard for Transact SQL, but it didn't get picked up by a lot of the various manufacturers and included in their particular versions of T-SQL or the SQL 92 standard. And Microsoft didn't really implement it seriously, and it was never really used. And so most of us grew up not using those. Now what's odd about this, it's just some sort of mental thing with me because when I code in C Sharp and like C++ and those sorts of things, I'll use the semicolon, it's automatic. However, when I work in T-SQL, somehow it's kind of become automatic not to do that. Now technically, this is really not a good coding standard. If there's a standard out there that calls for it, then we should really all adhere to it because what's the point of having standards? But as you already know, Microsoft's T-SQL is already an extension of that SQL 92 standard. So I guess I could make the case that I'm further extending it by not putting semicolons in there. But it's a habit I've got, but it's one that I'm going to have to break. Microsoft has announced, as a matter of fact, it was in the books online version of SQL Server 2008, that in a future version of SQL Server, and they didn't really describe or designate which future version, that uh, they would implement that part of the SQL 92 standard and semicolons would be required. Uh, IntelliSense would catch it if you don't have them and you wouldn't be able to run queries without them. So if you're new to Transact SQL, go ahead and start getting in the habit of using those semicolons at the end. I will try to use them when I think about them here, and uh, it's just kind of embarrassing that I don't, but it's just kind of one of those old things I've done. But I just wanted you to know why sometimes you won't see semicolons on some sample code. Other times you will see semicolons. And a lot of times when you watch people like me who've been around a while in this stuff, not using semicolons. So just know for now it's okay not to use them, but at some point in the future we're going to have to. So if you're learning this, you might want to go ahead and jump on that train and start using semicolons to terminate every one of your commands. Hope that helps clear up the confusion as opposed to making it worse.